So I'm gonna have to look it up. I think these might be from the Tartlet in Bloom. Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a haul today because I've been doing some shopping and I have some things from Wet n Wild, Sephora, Ulta, and an order I placed on Tarte during their 30% off sale. So if you wanna see everything I picked up recently, just keep watching. Oh, and don't forget that in a few weeks, once I really tested everything, I will do a haul update and tell you what I think and give you a mini review of all of these products. So subscribe if you're not subscribed already so you don't miss it. I placed an order on wetandwild.com because I wanted to test out their brushes and I was only finding a couple in stores. I basically stalked the website for weeks until this brush was back in stock. It is the crease brush. I love a good blending crease brush, but it's hard to find good ones from the drugstore, so this is what I was most excited to try. It's only 99 cents and I ordered three just in case it's good. It feels really, really soft. I've seen good reviews about this. It's not too wide, so it looks like it'll really be able to get into the crease. Those aren't the only brushes I got, though. I did also get the large eyeshadow and the small eyeshadow brush. These look like good brushes to just put product on the eyelid. And I think these were 99 cents as well, as was the brow and lash comb, because you can never have enough of these. And then two of the face brushes I got were the flat top brush and the blush brush. Yeah, they all feel super soft and nice, so I'm excited to get these washed up and give them a try. So the face brushes were $2.99, I think, and I really wanted this blush brush because it's smaller than most of my brushes that are kind of a similar shape, and I'm working on a blush brush comparison video for you guys where I show you all the different styles of blush brushes I have and how they apply and kind of when I like to use each one. So yes, this looks really nice, but different. The other thing I was really excited to pick up were some of the new Color Icon blushes. I have pearlescent pink, so I didn't get the new version of that, but I did get fantastic plastic pink. Um, I'm surprised by how much glitter it has. I didn't realize it was that glittery, so I'm a little nervous about that. I also got rosé champagne, which I've seen really good things about as just a pretty kind of subtle everyday blush, and then I got apricot in the middle, and this is the only one that I've worn so far, and I'm impressed. I mean, they're super soft and beautiful, and it has a really nice sheen without actually having glitter chunks in it, which is why I'm kind of nervous about that pink one, but lasts all day on my face. Seriously, I've worn this for like 12 hours, and it's still there. So once I try all of them, I will have more information for you, but so far, it's very promising. And then I got two highlighters. I picked up the Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powder in Where the Dreamers Go. This is limited edition, but they've started carrying some of the limited edition things on the website. And I already have this, so I'm not gonna open it. I picked it up in the store, but I got a second one because I really like it and I thought I might include it in an upcoming giveaway, just cause I'm kind of obsessed with this. So I'll show you mine that's already open and it's just, the most beautiful kind of cool toned highlight. It's not super subtle, like it definitely has some glitter in it depending on which of the little squares you go into. One time I wore this, at the end of the day, Keith was like, why is there glitter on your face? Like right there, there's like a stripe of glitter. And I was like, yeah, it's my highlighter, it's amazing, I love it. So it's not super sophisticated and you know, subtle, but it's beautiful, and that's kind of why I like it. And then the other highlighter I got is the Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. This isn't a new product, but it's a new formula and packaging here. So it has four different colors in it, which is why I thought it would be nice. You can kind of customize your highlight depending on where you put the brush, or you could swirl them all together. I also thought this these light pinks in the middle would make a nice blush topper. Maybe these could be used as eyeshadows. So I'm gonna be experimenting with this. I didn't have the old version, but I do kind of like the packaging. Oh, and this is in catwalk pink. I think it's the only color it comes in, but you know. So I got one more thing. I got this Color Icon lip liner in Plumberry. And honestly, the only reason I got this is because I was like 50 cents shy of free shipping and this was 99 cents or something. So yeah, I mean, I'll try it and I'll let you know. I haven't really heard very much about these. It's kind of a pretty color. I don't have a lot of lip liners, but this just got me free shipping. So the next thing I have to show you is one thing I got from Ulta. 
And I was going to also to buy some things for the makeup swap that Beth and I did. We had like a $15 challenge. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it down below. But before I went, I heard her talking about this kit and I knew I had to have it and I picked it up. It is the Best of Becca Blushed Radiance. And prior to this, I didn't have any Becca products and I hear so much about their highlighters and now their blushes and their primer and their shimmery skin perfectors and all of those products are in here. So I thought it was a really good deal. It was $32.50. I haven't tried either of these two products yet. This is the Backlight Priming Filter, but I've heard so much hype about this. I'm really excited to put it to the test. And then I got the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. And I'm really, really happy about this because I remember, was it this Christmas or the Christmas before that they had the set of all four of these and I just heard it raved about so much on YouTube and I never picked it up. The two powder products I've tried once. The first is the Mineral Blush in Flower Child and this blush is gorgeous. It has that peachy gold running through it. The pressed highlighter that came in this kit is Moonstone, and I kind of really wanted to try Opal, so I might still have to pick that one up, but it is beautiful. I will say that it is more glittery than I expected. I mean, I definitely could see some glitter on my cheeks when I wore it, so I think you have to be careful when you apply it, but I need to test it out more. I need to compare it to Mary Luminizer, so you will hear more about this when I do the haul update with my reviews. I only picked up two things during the VIB sale because basically I think the VIB sale is a major waste of money. But I did get two Glam Glow masks. I talked about these in my sample reviews and I mentioned I was gonna purchase them in the full size. The first is the Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. This is the one I had tried before, so I have used this a couple times. And the one that I haven't tried before is the Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. So I used both of these last night. I used the exfoliating mask first, and then once I rinsed that off, I just slathered my face with the hydrating treatment, and that was my skincare routine for the evening. Definitely need to test it out more, but so far, I'm impressed with this. So in that same sample review video where I talked about the Glam Glow masks, I also mentioned that I wanted to purchase a Tarte blush because I didn't have any, and I was gonna pick it up during the VIB sale, but, during the VIB sale, Tarte had a 30% off sale on their website. And 30% off is something that I actually can get excited about. I mean, let's be real, it's twice as good as 15% off. But they kind of caught me in their trap because then I decided to buy $40 worth of stuff for free shipping. It was all 30% off, right? Okay, so the first thing I picked up was a Tarte eyeshadow curler. Eyeshadow curler. Eyelash curler because it's literally been a year since I've had an eyelash curler that I've used that I've liked So I've heard good things about these and it was on the sale page It was like $12 and then 30% off that it also comes with a little sample of the lights camera flashes mascara Which I don't like but I think I'll pass that on to my mom because I think she might like it. So Yes I have high hopes. And then the blush that I picked up is Tipsy, and this is kind of a bright coral color. Now, this may sound weird, but I was kind of expecting it to be brighter. I know that sounds insane, but I really do like orangey blushes, so I don't know. I haven't tried it on my face yet. I will do that and then decide if I want this one or if I want to exchange it for another color. And then my one kind of impulse purchase on the Tarte website is the Tartlet Tease palette, which just is a little mini Tartlet palette. And I picked this up because I have never tried any of the Tarte eyeshadow palettes and I really didn't want to throw down, you know, 40 or 50 bucks for them, but this seems like a little cute way to test them out. And it looks adorable. I was kind of surprised when I opened it that it smells really sweet. It almost smells like hot chocolate vanilla powder. Like a hot chocolate powder mix thing, you know? I don't know, I've never heard anyone say that about Tarte eyeshadows, but it does have a scent. It looks beautiful. If you want to test out some Tarte eyeshadows, I recommend this. Especially at 30% off, which you probably can't get anymore, but I did, so what the fuck. So that's everything I picked up. Let me know if you've picked up anything recently. I'd love to hear about it. Let me know what I need to try next because you guys have the best recommendations. And also if you wanna see any more in-depth reviews or tutorials or any sorts of videos on these products, 
let me know and I will start working on that for you as well. Thanks for stopping by today and hanging out with me and giving me a reason to buy more shit. Hop on over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Robin's Cup and hit that subscribe button so I can see you here next time. Bye! I mean, are you supposed to put this in your keychain? Badass. I guess I don't need to swatch this. And these are from Thistle Farms, and I have the lavender scent in both of them because lavender is my favorite, and it's a really nice scent, but all of their fragrances are very natural.